Hello, I'm Danielle, and welcome to the Imuno Project. We here at the Imuno Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice. And in a previous video, um, I made uh, reference to uh, the tribe of Levi and how they were able to uh, pass on the tradition and educate uh, their children to, to uh, grow up in the proper, observant uh, Jewish manner. And um, I'm going to also quote a, a, a rabbi that I quoted in that video, uh, uh, Harav uh, Shimon Schwab, uh, would tell a story that um, when he was about eight or nine years old, he was the eldest of uh, five brothers. They were sitting at the Passover Seder, at the Pesach Seder uh, table. And when they come to the section in the Haggadah, when they talk about the fear kashas, the four questions from the uh, four sons, his father asked each one of the boys, which one of these four sons do you want to become? Well, the kid's always going to say, oh, I want to be the Chacham, I want to be the, uh, the Ben Chacham, the, the, the wise son. Is the wise son, the uh, wicked son, the simple son, and the one who doesn't even know how to ask. He says, sure, I want to be the, the, the Ben Chacham, or the, the wise son. And it was at this point that uh, Rav Shimon Schwab's father became very serious and is said in a very loud voice imagine the impressions would have on children he said a very loud voice if one of my children ever became a rasha the evil one a wicked person even regarding the tiniest of mitzvahs i would tell him viva lolo for me and not for him you no longer have a place at my Seder table, because I love Hashem more than I love you. He immediately returned to his recitation of the, uh, of the Haggadah in the normal, gentle manner. But this, this statement made uh, an indelible imprint on each of the sons, and they had no doubt of Hashem's position uh, of priority in their father's mind. Now, undoubtedly, this is a powerful story, and watch one that will invoke consternation, anger perhaps, uh, to more uh, liberal-minded, more modern, um, contemporary parents. How could a father talk like this to a son? Was that a way to talk to little children four, five, six, seven years old? How can you make such an implacable statement to a young, uh, to a young child, to a young mind? How can you as a parent be so unyielding, so uncompromising, this is modern society talking. This is the questioning of a society um, that's dominated by a certain amount of hypocrisy, like I was mentioning before. Um, the artificial is venerated. Um, the charlatan is praised. This question comes from a parent who refuses to take responsibility and who would rather blame than seek a cure, um, who expects a parent, who expects a parenting to be instant and automatic. When it comes to Hashem, when it comes to religion, when it comes to being Jewish, when it comes to being B'nai Noach, we put God first. That message cannot be mixed. There can be no gray area. You may not want to be as blunt as Rav Shimon Schwab's father, but the message, however you deliver it, must be clear and unequivocal. The Creator's position, the position of Hashem, of God in our life, is paramount. Nothing comes before God, not even them. Harsh in the short term, the hope is that in long term it will... Um, it will be uh, beneficial. Um, sometimes we dress up our kids really nice, that they should look good, and sometimes we, uh, God forbid, we ignore uh, their inner problems, their inner needs, not their inner desires, their inner needs. Um, sometimes we give our children what we want rather than what they need. And sometimes what a child needs is a clear black and white answer to certain 
questions. Uh, when there's room for gray, fine. Perhaps when they're older, but young children like clarity. They like security. Even though it's not very pleasant at the time, they like to know where the boundaries are, and this is a hard and fast boundary. The highest position in our life is God. Period. End of sentence. End of story. The message has to be clear. And um, this is the lesson of uh, Rabbi Shimon Schwab's grandfather and the lesson of uh, Shevet Levi, the, the, the tribe of Levi, and perhaps a key to Chinook, to, to education. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Mono Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.